This is the first of four videos looking at graphs of quadratics or parabolas. The equation that we're looking at in this particular one is f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15. When we're through, we're supposed to have labeled the y-intercept, label any x-intercepts if they exist, and also label the vertex. Part of the challenge is to figure out how to get that graph to fit nicely on this graph paper. So let's begin by studying what we know about the graph. It's easy to see in this particular equation that the y-intercept is going to be minus 15. That's because when we look at the x and y values, if we pick x to be 0, that would mean that we would be on the y-axis, then the y value is a minus 15. So in the graph that we produce, we're going to want to have here on the, on the y-axis be able to count down minus 1 to minus 15, because we need to have this point 0 minus 15 on the graph. So we've got to have enough room there for that to, to occur. So secondly, we know that this is an opening up parabola because the leading coefficient is positive. So it might be a parabola over here. This might actually be the vertex, or there might be a parabola over here, so the vertex is here. But in any one of those cases, an opening up parabola going through this point must also have some y-intercepts. So we want to ask the question, well, when is x squared plus 2x minus 15 equal to 0. Where are the, where are the x-intercepts? Well, we could use the quadratic formula, of course, but possibly this one factors to be an x times an x is equal to 0. One of these will have to be positive and one will have to be negative because this is negative. We need two numbers that multiply together to give me 15 and that subtract from each other to give a 2. It looks like 5 and 3 will do the job. We need to have positive 5 and negative 3, so this middle term, ter middle term turns out to be uh, a positive 2. That means that x plus 5 could be 0, in which case x has got to be a negative 5. So in our graph, we need to be able to get over here to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we also know that the other factor is x minus 3. So if x minus 3 is 0, then this would be 0, and hence we would have a, an x-intercept. That'll be when x is equal to, to a positive 3. 1, 2, 3. So we've got those two x-intercepts, <coughs> and because they're both at the same height, then the vertex will have to be halfway between those. This is a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4 from either one of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's where the axis of symmetry will have to be, and the vertex will have to be on that line. So the vertex will have to be below this point, of course. It'll need to be somewhere around in here, and the parabola will be looking like this. So I know the x value of the vertex, I still need to find the y value, which is going to be easy to find. That will be f at a minus 1. So that will be a minus 1 squared plus 2 times a minus 1 minus 15. Do the calculations there and you find out that that's a minus 16. So here, <clears throat> so we, we found the following points. We found that when x is a minus 5, y is 0, and when x is 3, y is 0, and we've also found this uh, vertex, which is going to occur at an x is a minus 1 and y is a minus 15. Okay, so we need to get all of this to fit on our graph paper. We need to be able to go down to at least a minus 16 from wherever the the x-axis is. So let's look at our graph paper here. I'm going to count from the bottom up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm going to put my x-axis right here. Okay, so there's my x-axis. And it's going to be scaled, each uh, tick mark is is one. 
this I had noticed earlier when I looked at this uh, graph that it's nearly symmetrical about the, the y-axis. So I'm just going to put the y-axis right here. I'll make this zero and the x's will count this one, two, and so on. And one, two, going up this way as well in the y-axis. So now I can plot my points. There's three, zero, the point that we found. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, minus five, zero. We had found this y-intercept down at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's the y-intercept, zero minus fifteen. And minus one minus sixteen was the vertex. So let's label all of these. The y-intercept was at zero minus fifteen. The vertex was at minus 1, minus 16. This x-intercept was at 3, 0. This x-intercept was at minus 5, 0. So I'm going to have a parabola that's looking about like this. Because the symmetry, this point will have to go through this one. Okay. So the parabola will look much like that. Okay, that's the first parabola that we're going to look at.